Hello, uh, I'm here. I'm Jignesh Padiar. Uh, I'm here to comment on sec uh, agenda item 26. Uh, I will start by reading the last sentence of the Huntington Beach preamble here. It is incumbent upon those who govern and make decisions for and on behalf of the city of Huntington Beach to legally as well as morally abide by the provisions of this chapter in its strictest sense to ensure the continued success and well-being of our fair city. Now, honestly, do you really believe that you are acting in the strictest sense by legally deceiving and morally bypassing our charter? It doesn't make any sense. It is highly unlikely that the residents of Huntington Beach would willingly hand over their rights protected under the Huntington Beach Charter. It is simply the most American thing that you can do is to vote. And by pulling that away, you're literally taking away what makes America, America. Now, the charter will no serve no longer any purpose, and you would rather trample over it by creating this ad hoc committee that circumvents oversight and transparency. We are reaching the precipice in this narrative where our rights as citizens are dwindling, and we can no longer expect our elected representatives to remain elected representative voices. And by doing this, we are witnessing the demise in integrity and trust in our city's institutions. The Huntington Beach Charter was written in such a way to give people a voice in their city. Say, for instance, we have a rogue city council that wishes to act in their self-interest rather than what the city wants. Then the electorate have safeguards to protect ourselves from these corporate-backed scum. And we can see quickly how the checks and balances that this government and community are built around quickly dissolves when the public seats are taken up by authoritarian figures. And it's honestly, you guys have the elected seats. People voted for you. Just think about that. How did you get your seat? Did you just get it on by someone giving it to you? Obviously, one of you did. Not going there yet. Um, yet each member of this council can claim they were elected by residents of the Huntington Beach, and you can hold their voices too. If you follow through with this, you are setting a precedent that even an elected individual who represents the will and the voice of the people can be quickly usurped because of different opinions. If you feel you cannot work with the members that the city of Huntington Beach is elected, step aside. There are plenty that will. This is America. We stand for difference of opinion, especially those that we adamantly disagree with. If you cannot demonstrate the ability to comply with the city charter and cooperate with the elected officials, then you are in complete disregard of the very oaths you have sworn to uphold. This is beneath Huntington Beach continually. It saddens me to have to come coming here because you guys do not want to listen to the people, and now you want to trample over the very holy charter that you used to fill Tito's seat. So now that doesn't work for you, you can kick it to the side. This is still America last time I checked. 